going to be sharing with you hands-on activities for math, literacy, and logic for ages 2 to 6 years old. If you're new to my channel, I have hands-on activities for my children. Um, and I rotate these out every two days or so. So I'm going to be calling my kids out right now and starting the activities by age level. Um, and any of the free printables that you see here, I will link below in the description box and also any of the items that you see here. Let's get started! Okay, so starting with the first activity here, we have all the logic activities, starting with my two-year-old. She'll be three years old in a couple of months. And here I have a sequencing activity. It's laminated for durability. And I got I get a lot of activities from workbooks. This one particularly came from the Scholastic Pre-Kindergarten Jumbo Workbook for ages three and four. And I went ahead and I laminated it for durability. And she's going to be putting these events in order for what comes first, what comes second, and what comes third. Ready, Emily? Look at the events here, honey. What do you think comes first? What do you think comes first, honey? What is he doing there? He's taking eggs. He's taking the eggs out of the fridge. Very good. Put it right here, number one. So he first takes the eggs out of the fridge. What comes second? What do you think happens next here from these two cards? What do you think happens next? This. Yes. And what is happening there? Yeah, he's putting it on the pan. He's cooking the eggs. So let's put it right here on number two. Number two. And then, the last thing that happened, what? He put it on a? Plate. He put it on a plate. He was going to eat it now. Put it right here. The boy. On number three, yes. The boy's going to eat it. Yeah, the boy's going to eat it. So first, he took the eggs out of the fridge, right, Emily? Then he cooked them in a pan. And then lastly, he's going to put it on a plate to eat it. Very good. Now we're going to take them off again, and we're going to try again. Let me mix them all up. See if you can get it again. Okay, so here we have the next activity with my four-year-old. And for her logic for today, she's doing this visual discrimination. Um, printable that I got online for free. I'll link below so that you guys can also download it. And she's going to be looking for this particular little leaf here in this um, lot of leaves. And as you can see, it's a very busy page, so she has to look very carefully to be able to locate this little leaf. And she's going to be covering it with these little bingo chips every time she finds it. Ready, Iris? Set, go! So here we are trying Sodoku uh, with my six-year-old and I um, have this printable that I got for free online. I'll link it below for you guys if you want to download it. Make sure that you print it out three times so that you have enough of the pieces here. These are laminated. I laminated them for durability. So you want to start off with pictures with Sodoku with the little ones and then move on to something that has numbers. Um, this is Sodoku for second grade, for example, that we're using here with the six-year-old. and. Um, they have it for each grade level, even for kindergarten, so I'll link it below for you guys. So, basically the child needs to um, figure out where these hats go. So, in each of the rows, horizontal and vertical, there has to be four different color hats, as you can see here. Also, in each of the squares, there has to be four different color hats. So, you have to make sure that you put the hat in the correct spot. Ready, Jade? Go ahead and get started. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so moving on to math, here we have a number recognition activity for the two-year-old. And I have laid out some teddy bear. Um, these are just like these uh, teddy bears that you could find at like any arts and crafts store. And I wrote some numbers on it. Um, and then I have some jumbo numbers and some bottle cap numbers as well. So she can do some matching. Ready, Emily? Look. Can you find zero? Where's zero? Good. Let's find number one. 
Good. Let's find number three. Let's force three. Good. Let's find number two. Good. Let's find number five. Where's five? Yes. Very good. And let's find number four. And you can do this from one through ten. We're mastering zero through five right now. And then we're going to do the bottle caps next. Ready, Emily? You can do the bottle caps all by yourself. Okay, so for math for my four-year-old, she's working on sorting these coins into the right category. We have dimes and quarters. And then here she has the picture of the dimes and quarters in different shades. And also she has the front and back of the coin, so she needs to really focus there. Um, and this principle comes from our um, kindergarten math learning binder. Iris, you ready to start? Go ahead, honey. Okay, so for the next math activity over here, we have um, some money, some grocery items, some grocery task cards that I have here. I'll link these below for free for you guys. Then we have some play money. This is comes from the classroom kit from Learning Resources. This is a great little kit to have. We do a lot of activities. Let me see if I can open it here. We do a lot of little great activities with this. It brings a little activity book, and it brings all of the money that you would use for the activities. Um... But let's get started here with this activity. So the child will grab a card over here. And this is how much money? How much is that drink? Two dollars and forty-five cents. Two dollars and forty-five cents. Let's get forty-five cents. I know it's forty-five. Forty-five and mm -hmm. this one also dimes. You're gonna get the dimes? Okay. Four dimes. Four dimes. Forty. So we have forty, and then what are we missing? Five cents. Five cents. Very good. Five this is great practice for when kids um, go to the store. They know how to pay, right, Jade? Yeah. Let's do some more cards. Ready? Okay, so starting with the literacy activities now, here we have sorting verbs and nouns. And in this little basket we have all types of things. We have verbs and nouns that she needs to sort into these two containers. Jade, what is a verb? A verb is an action word. And what is a noun? A noun is a person, place, or thing. All right, ready? Go ahead and start getting sorted. Okay. So here we have pig, okay, noun. Girl, Girl noun. Apple, Apple noun. Milk. Milk. Noun. Laugh. Verb. Laugh is a verb. It's action. Share is a thing. Okay, so this next activity is a uh, literacy activity for my two-year-old and I have here some fruits and veggies that she's going to be matching to the pictures here. This is good for vocabulary, for matching skills, and for visual discrimination. As the child is learning the names of these fruits and vegetables. Okay, so Emily, ready? Let's get started. What is that called? Carrot. Carrot. Can you find the carrot? Carrot. Where's the carrot? There it is. This one is called a cucumber. Can you say cucumber? Cucumber. Yes. Let's find another one. What is that? A pear. A pear. Okay. What's that? Broccoli. Broccoli. All right. Let's do another one. 
What's that? Mango. Lemon. Lemon. <laughs> she said mango. See, this is good. They learn vocabulary. And the last one, what's that one over there? The red one. What Apple. is it? Apple. Very good. Can I have the cucumber? Can you give it to me? Thank you. Can I have the lemon? Where's the lemon? Thank you. Can I have the pear? Thank you. Can I have the carrot? Thank you. Can I have the apple? And lastly, can I have the broccoli? Good job. Once your child gets good at these matching, you can have them match by beginning letter sound. Sometimes I have my older kids do it and they match by actual reading of the words. You can just write these on index cards. You don't have to be fancy and have things laminated like this. All right, you guys, moving on to the next thing. Okay, so the next activity, here we have Iris, the four-year-old, and she's working on this rhyming match game. Um, I got it for free at prekinders.com, and I'll link it below for you guys. It brings two of them. Iris, you want to get started? I want you to find what rhymes with all of these. Ready? Let's start over here. Parrot. Carrot. Parrot, carrot. All right, let's go to the next one. Bat, cat. Bat, cat. Fan, can. Fan, can. Cake snake. Cake snake. Let's do the next one over here. Rhyming match game. Okay, ready? Go. Okay, so we love playing bingo, so we pulled out our Spanish bingo today. Uh, for fun and this helps with vocabulary in Spanish. You can use bingo for so many different things that you want to teach your kiddos and kids love bingo. So here we have this bingo game from Carson Del Rosa. Um, it brings the big mat, it brings all of the cards, it brings the the chips and everything. Ready girls, you want to play? Yeah! yeah. Alright, I'm going to call out a card. And if you have it, you want to put it down, okay? Let's see here. The first one is... El ojo. No. El ojo. I don't have it. Emily, turn it around, sweetheart, so that you can see it. Very good. If you don't have it, that's okay. We're looking for el ojo, the eye. But no one has the ojo. No one has it? Okay, let's move on to the next card. Ready? Let's see. La niña. La niña. I have la niña. You have it? The girl. Emily, do you have the girl? No, I have the La girl. Niña. Do you have a girl on your mat, Emily? I do. Oh, you have a girl Emily on your needs mat. to be helped with hers. Okay. Iris, do you have a girl now? No. Okay. okay, the next one is, let's see. La Cuchara. I have La Cuchara. Good. La Cuchara. Emily, you were looking for the spoon. La Cuchara. Jay, do you have it? I don't have the spoon. I have the fork and the knife. Okay, let's move on to the next one. La lampara, the lamp. La lampara. Lamp. Emily, do you have a lamp? Do you have a lamp on yours, sweetheart? I don't have the lamp. Lamp. Oh, here's your lamp, Emily. Put down your lamp. Good job. I don't have any lamp. Okay, and the last thing here that the girls are going to be working on is some puzzles. Um, Emily's working on this farm puzzle. Jade's working on this princess puzzle. She's almost done with it. That's 48 pieces. And then uh, Iris is working on these puzzles over here. It's a little panda and a little bunny uh, puzzle. And I think those are... How many pieces, Iris? I think they're nine pieces each. And this is great for the little ones, for their minds. Uh, good for logic, critical thinking. I love puzzles and I, as much as possible, try to have the kids do puzzles every week. I'll link below all of the items and materials that I used in the video um, in the description box and all of the free printables. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. For more videos like this, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you are notified when I make a new video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. You finish ours? Let's do the other one now. Let's say bye, girls. Until the next time. Bye. bye.